Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba makuha yung derivative ng isang function by using chain rule. Okay, so first, examine muna natin yung ating formula. If h of x is equals to g of f of x, so ang derivative daw ng ating h of x is equals to the derivative of g of f of x times the derivative of f of x. So, ibig sabihin, maa-apply lang daw natin guys si chain rule pagka yung given function natin ay composite. Okay? Ibig sabihin, meron tayong inner and outer function. So, in our formula, yung g of x natin, ito yung ating outer function, while f of x, ito naman guys yung ating inner function. Nakuha? So, to get the derivative of a composite function, ang gagawin nyo lang guys is to get the derivative ng ating outer function times natin doon sa derivative ng ating inner function. Okay? So, tinawag siyang chain rule kasi guys, after natin makuha yung derivative ng ating outer function, iti-chain naman natin or multiply naman natin yung derivative ng ating inner function. Nakuha guys, kumbaga parang idudugtong natin. Okay? So, let's have our first example. Find the derivative of f of x equals the quantity of 5x squared minus 4x plus 2 then cube. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, meron tayong composite function. Yung ating outer function, ito naman, ito yung ating x cube. Tama? Kung napapansin nyo yung ating outer function. Yung inner function natin, ito naman guys, yung uh, 5x square minus 4x plus 2. Yung nasa loob ng ating parenthesis guys, yan yung ating inner function. Okay? Dun sa formula natin, yan yung f of x. Nakuha? So, try natin guys kunin uh, yung derivative ng ating um, given function. So, first, i-differentiate nyo muna guys yung ating outer function. Kunin natin yung derivatives niyan. So, ang gagawin lang natin, di ba, minimultiply natin yung exponent doon sa ating coefficient. Okay, so dito guys ang ina-apply natin yung power rule. So, try natin. So, 3 times 1 yung number natin dito. That is positive 3. So, ito yung ating 5x square minus 4x plus 2. Then, after natin ma-apply yung ating power rule, magma-minus 1 tayo doon sa ating exponent. Tama? Yan yung derivative ng ating outer function. Then, next, after nyan, i-chain natin ngayon yung derivative ng ating inner function. Nakuha, so try natin. So, ang derivative ng 5x square, that is 10x. Then, derivative ng ating negative 4x, that is negative 4. Then, derivative ng 2 is 0. So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating uh, derivative ng inner function. Okay, then simplify natin to guys. Uh, yung 3, pwede natin i-distribute dito sa ating binomial. So, we have 5x square minus 4x plus 2. Then, 3 minus 1, that is positive 2. Tapos, distribute natin si 3. So, we have 3 times 10x, that is 30x. Then, 3 times negative 4, we have negative 12. Tama? So, ito na guys yung ating uh, final answer. Si f prime of x. Nakuha guys kung paano ba kinuha yung derivative ng isang function by using the chain rule. So let's proceed to example number 2. We have f of x equals 3x square minus 4 raised to 1 half. So again, applying the same procedure. First, uh, kunin nyo muna yung derivative ng ating uh, outer function. So, multiply natin si 1 half dito. 
So that is 1 half times 3x squared minus 4. Then si 1 half natin magma minus 1 tayo. Tama? Yan yung ating uh, power rule. Then after natin ma-derivative o ma-differentiate yung ating outer function, i-chain natin guys yung ating inner function. Okay, multiply natin. Derivative ni 3x square, that is uh, 6x. Tama? Then derivative ni negative 4, that is 0. So, ito na ngayon yung derivative ng ating inner function, 6x. Then, simplify natin to guys. Pwede natin i-multiply si 1 half kay 6x. So, that is 3x square minus 4. Then, 1 half minus 1. That is negative 1 half. Then, 1 half times 6x. So, magiging 3x na to. Okay? So, since meron tayong negative exponent, so, pag sinimplify natin to guys, we have 3x over the quantity of 3x squared minus 4 raised to 1 half. Tama? So, dadali natin sa denominator yung ating uh, binomial since meron tayong negative exponent. So, this will be our final answer. Nakuha guys? So, let's proceed to example number 3. Find the derivative of f of x equals 5x raised to 4 minus 7 raised to 2 thirds. Okay? So, applying the same procedure, uh, get the derivative of the outer function. So, multiply natin to dito guys. So, that is 2 thirds times 5x raised to 4 minus 7 then 2 thirds Minus 1. Okay? Then, i-chain natin ngayon yung derivative ng ating inner function. So, that is derivative of 5x raised to 4. We have 20x cubed. Okay? Then, derivative ng negative 7 is 0. So, ito na ngayon yung derivative ng ating inner function. Then, simplify natin to guys. So, pwede nating i-multiply si 2 thirds kay 20. So, we have 5x raised to 4 minus 7. Then, 2 thirds minus 1. That is negative 1 over 3. Tama? Then, 2 thirds times 20, we have uh, 40 over 3. Then, x cubed. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, meron tayong negative exponent. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin ilagay yan sa denominator. So, pag sinimplify natin to guys, we have uh, 40x cubed. All over, we have 3 times the quantity of 5x raised to 4 minus 7 raised to 1 third. Okay, so ito na guys yung ating final answer. Nasundan? So, next, number 4, we have f of x equals the square root of 5x minus 2. So, applying the same procedure. First, uh, bago natin ma-apply yung ating uh, chain rule, i-rewrite muna natin si yung radicals natin to exponential. Okay? So, same lang yan guys ni 5x minus 2 raised to 1 half. Tama? So, applying the chain rule. So, multiply natin si 1 half dito. So, that is 1 half times 5x minus 2. Then, yung exponent natin, magma-minus 1 tayo ngayon. Okay? Then, i-chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function. So, ang derivative ng 5x minus 2 is positive 5. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede natin i-multiply si 1 half kay positive 5. So, that is 5x minus 2 raised to 1 half minus 1. That is negative 1 half. Then, 1 half times 5, that is 5 over 2. 
Tama? Then, meron tayong negative exponent. So, ngayon, ilalagay natin yan sa denominator. So, ang final answer natin ngayon, we have 5 over. So, meron tayong 2 dito. Times the quantity of 5x minus 2 raised to 1 half. Okay? So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung ating e prime of x. Nasundan? Next, another example, number 5. We have f of x equals the cube root of 3x plus 5. So, applying the same procedure, guys. First step, it rewrite natin to two exponential forms. So, that is 3x plus 5 raised to 1 third. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-apply si chain rule. So, multiply natin to. So, we have 1 third times 3x plus 5, then 1 third minus 1. Tama? Then, imumultiply natin or i-chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function. So, ang derivative ni 3x plus 5 is equals to positive 3. Tama guys? Ngayon, pwede na natin i-multiply si 1 third kay 3. So, pwedeng makancel yan. So, we have 3x plus 5 raised to 1 third minus 1. That is negative 2 thirds. Okay? So, again, meron tayong negative exponent. So, pag sinimplify yan, we have 1 over the quantity of 3x plus 5 raised to positive 2 thirds. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung derivative ng ating a given function. Nasundan? Next, number 6. We have f of x equals the square root of 15x square minus 6x plus 2. So again, i-rewrite natin yung ating uh, square root to exponent. So that is 15x square minus 6x plus 2 raised to 1 half. Tama? So, apply natin yung ating uh, power rule para makuha yung derivative ng ating outer function. So, that is 1 half times 15x square minus 6x plus 2 then 1 half minus 1. Okay? Then, get the derivative ng ating inner function. I-chain natin yan. So, derivative ni 15x square, we have 30x. Then, derivative of negative 6x, that is negative 6. Then, derivative ng positive 2 is 0. Okay? So, multiply natin si 1 half dito sa ating binomial. So, we have 15x square minus 6x plus 2. Raise to 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. Tama? Then multiply natin si 1 half. 1 half times 30x, that is 15x. Then 1 half times negative 6, that is negative 3. Okay? So dito guys, meron tayong negative exponent. So that is equals to 15x minus 3 all over the quantity of 15x square minus 6x plus 2 raised to 1 half. Okay? So, ito na guys yung ating derivative. Nakuha? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba ina-apply si chain rule para makuha yung derivative ng isang composite function. Okay? So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! Mm -hmm.